Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again. I hope you are doing great. Today we're going to be talking about stalls. They are a fundamental part of aviation and learning how to fly. However, they are super dangerous. We are on the Cessna 172 today and we are also at Madeira Airport. I'll see you in a minute in the air. So, what is a stall? Well, put it simply, a stall is just a reduction on the lift that is experienced by the aircraft. It occurs when the angle of attack of your wings is increased by too much. So you reach that critical angle of attack and you just don't generate any more lift, so you just fall down. We're going to be covering two types of stall. What we call the approach stall and also what we call the departure stall. These are very dangerous when they occur in real life, okay? As you are not really expecting them to happen, and when they do, if you don't correct them, you are most likely gonna crash, because you are very low and there is no time or altitude to make a recover from that stall. So, with this practice session, what we're gonna do is maintain a safe altitude to practice these things, which is gonna be about 3,000 feet. There are a lot of ways to know that a stall is going to happen. But perhaps the main one is going to be your stall horn. As soon as you hear that beeping, you know you are about to stall. Keep in mind that the stall horn doesn't indicate that you are stalling, but instead indicates that you are about to stall. So you can start prepping to fix that situation right away. Also, keep in mind that stalls can lead into a more dangerous situation. Stalls can lead into spins which require you to recover from them in a whole different way than if you're just in a stall. A spin will most likely happen when you have an asymmetric stall, which means that the, your left wing and your right wing stall at different times, which is going to lead for you, your wing to drop and the other one to still have enough lift to keep it up, and you're just going to rotate, flip, and fall down the sky. We're going to be covering the normal stalls, and we're going to be covering spins too. So don't worry, next time it happens to you, you're going to know what to do. So let us start with the approach stall. This stall is going to simulate that you are indeed on approach. So you're going to be fully configured, flaps fully down, and at low speeds. If this happens, as soon as you hear that stall horn, all you got to do is just punch the throttle and increasingly uh, lift your flaps. Don't do it all at once, otherwise you're going to lose all your lift and you're most likely going to end up in a coffin. So let's try it out, shall we? We are now 3000. We're going to try and maintain that altitude while reducing the power. Now we can put in flaps, so let's do that. One notch of flaps. Two notches of flaps. See how I'm increasing the angle of attack here. Full flaps. Speed is coming down. I'm gonna hear that stall warning very, very soon. Oh, stalling. Full power. Level off. Lift one notch of flaps. Wait about five seconds. Lift another notch of flaps. And lift the final notch of flaps. There you go. That's how you recover from an uh, incoming approach stall. So now let's try the fun one, shall we? The departure stall. You're gonna be in a clean configuration, just like we are right now, and you're gonna punch the throttle all the way up. And you're gonna increase your pitch until you start losing speed. You're just gonna wait it out. Here we go. Out. There we go. This will be a departure stall. We are now about to stall. The buff thing's coming in, so just relax your elevator. Keep the throttle where it is and level out. Very simple to recover, but also very deadly if you don't notice it and correct it right away. Finally, let's try out the spins. Spins are very fun to recover from but they're also going to be deadly if you are at low altitude and there is no time to recover. So all you gotta do to know how to recover from a spin 
is remember the acronym PAIR. P is for power off, A is for aileron neutral, R is for rudder opposite of the spin, and E is elevator forward. So let's put that into practice, shall we? We're going to try and force an asymmetrical stall, which means that I'm it's probably going to lead into a spin. So power off. Get some flaps in this. Right, we are now at full flaps. I'm going to try and turn a bit. Hopefully that will be enough for me to induce a spin. We're going to keep pushing it, keep holding it. Buffet's coming in. And here we go, that's a spin. So, power off, it's already off. Rather opposite direction, aileron neutral, elevator. And boom. There we go. As soon as you recover that spin, apply power and start lifting the flaps. We lost about 500 feet. So you can imagine if you are approaching or if you are turning from base to final, and you do that at 500 feet, oh, there's not going to be enough time to recover. So spins are deadly. So make sure that you have enough speed when going on approach. And as soon as you hear the, the signs, you know, the stall horn, the buffeting, correct that right away before it is too late. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you learned something. Until the next one, safe flights to everyone. See ya!